Hello, my name is Sergio de Lamo, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Telegram bot using AWS Lambda uh, and the MyCode framework. Uh, I'm going to show you a new module introduced in MyCode 430, which is MyCode Chatbots. In this initial release, MyCode Chatbots allows you to create uh, <coughs> chatbots for Telegram or Basecamp, uh, and uh, we uh, ease the deployment to a server solution such as um, AWS Lambda, Azure Functions, or GCP uh, functions, um, or you could even uh, have your uh, bots uh, mixed with your regular applications um, with an extra controller for the webhook. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to uh, show you how to deploy to AWS Lambda with a function URL, uh, which I think is a perfect use case. Uh, of using uh, an AWS Lambda function URL for the chatbot uh, webhook. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, I'm going to go to launch.mycode.io. I have here uh, launch.mycode.io open with four features selected. So I selected, first of all, I selected function application for serverless. I don't need to write um, controllers for this application. I only need one uh, endpoint and uh, we're going to give you one handler to use. Uh, so function application for servers is uh, what we are going to use. I'm going to go with Java 21, uh, 430 Java, Gradle Kotlin DSL, uh, JUnit 5. I selected as well uh, a feature which is AWS CDK, uh, which is going to generate uh, a multi-project build. Uh, and we're going to have in one of the modules, we're going to have infrastructure as code, which is um, great. It's going to simplify uh, deployment really easily. Uh, we have chatbots telegram lambda feature uh, which is going to essentially add the necessary dependencies to use micro chatbots and deploy to lambda uh, and i selected time because i am running here in a mac os uh, apple silicon computer um, so i went for that uh, i'm going to click generate uh, a zip file i'm going to copy the zip file that was just deployed to um, to this folder i'm going to unzip it uh, i'm going to uh, open it in intellij I'm going to open it in IntelliJ so that you see it. Um, it, it has uh, two uh, modules, one for infrastructure as code. I'm going to go here and I'm going to uh, show you it has uh, one function. It has the code for uh, enabling a function URL, uh, which requires no authentication. I'm going to go here and select Java 21 as the runtime. Um, the handler class is already provided uh, by us, um, by MyCode chatbots. Uh, I have tracing enabled, I have ARM, um, I have everything I need. Uh, and then in the other application, I'm going to show you a couple of things. Uh, I have uh, a couple of handlers. Uh, the programming paradigm that we offer you with Micro Chatbots is similar to uh, what you probably have seen in other platforms such as uh, Alexa. Uh, you have an API. Uh, where you have to override two methods. One is uh, a method returning Boolean, which uh, where you specify if this handler in particular can handle uh, the request. And then the other one is one that allows you to return uh, an optional message. In most uh, chatbots, uh, you can respond immediately or you can respond asynchronously. Uh, so this is why the signature of the method returns an optional. Um, we uh, give you one handler which will uh, respond to everything uh, as uh, illustrated by this return true here, uh, but it will have the lowest presence. So essentially, if no other handler is able to handle the message, then this will uh, kick in. Uh, we have uh, also uh, another really common uh, scenario. You want just to return uh, a markdown file uh, uh, without further processing. So you can create a, a uh, something like uh, here uh, where you extend from command handler and then you specify the command uh, that you want to uh, respond and that will be enough um, uh, to do that so uh, what you are going to see is that when we um, deploy our handler and we write uh, the about command it's going to immediately return this markdown file uh, and telegram will render that automatically for us and uh, here in the uh, application properties, we have uh, two um, things uh, that we have to define. Um, one is uh, a token uh, that we will use to secure our communications uh, uh, in the webhook. Uh, another one is the username of our bot. Uh, Michael Chatbot supports uh, having multiple bots uh, in the same application. 
uh, we have instructions in the readme file about what you need to do uh, and if you scroll up one of the first things that you see is that you have to go to the uh, micro chatbot documentation so i'm gonna do that actually i already have that open so that will be here um, open and essentially the first step that we have to do is create a a, a bot with the bot father uh, so let's do that uh, i'm gonna uh, go to the bot father which is another user in telegram so i have here the telegram application open i'm gonna click here um, help and i'm gonna create a new bot it's telling me what's the name of your bot i'm gonna say micronaut uh, uh, chatbots uh, demo and it says uh, tell me the name of the bot it must ends with bot so let's do micronaut chatbots demo bot and it's giving me a token this uh, name that i just entered is one that we are going to have here in in configuration uh, i'm going to get a url in a moment which we are going to need to uh, basically exchange this token that the uh, bot father is giving me so i will delete this uh, bot after this video so uh, no need to try with this token because that this bot will be gone uh, I will show you in a second what you have to do. Uh, so essentially we have to send this um, curl request. Uh, this token is the HTTP API token, which we're gonna use to communicate with the Telegram API. And we have to provide two uh, values, secret token and web URL secret token. We are gonna send whatever we want. Uh, this is gonna be our secret thing. So we could generate this thing with one password. Uh, so I'm gonna enter something really simple here. Uh, just um, for us we are going to enter this in a moment in the adbs uh, lambda uh, console let's actually put it here um, we could expose this with an environment variable in a second i will show you how to do that um, so i'm going to go here uh, i'm going to go to my code guide um, to deploy this we have instructions in the readme file uh, so if I go here to read me file, you will see like you have instructions about what to do. So it's telling me run uh, app shadow yard. Um, so I am running and then run Gradle test. And then go to infra and do CDK um, deploy. The first time you run CDK in an AWS account, you will have to run a a, a command to initialize cdk i already have a cdk initialized in this um, in this aws uh, account i don't have any lambda functions as you can see here so we are going to create one in a second so this is going to uh, create um, a lambda function using the java 21 runtime is going to enable a function url uh, which requires no authentication it's gonna output the URL uh, of uh, of the lambda in the terminal because I uh, added that uh, to my CDK code, um, but we could obtain that URL directly in the um, in the AWS console. So I'm gonna expose the secret as an environment variable. How could we do that? Uh, so I'm gonna take this uh, and in my code you could do you could replace the dots with underscores uh, and make everything uppercase and this will be the environment uh, name. So I'm gonna uh, this will be basically what we have to do is copy this token as an environment variable. Uh, you could put this in AWS Secret Manager as well, uh, which will be better. Um, I just to keep things simple, so I'm going to put this in an environment variable. Um, the function is being created. You see, like we have one for the log notation and one for Java 21. This is our function. Uh, I'm going to uh, go here in configuration. Uh, this is the function URL that we need. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, this is going to be the curl command that we are going to uh, invoke to essentially configure the, um, the webhook URL and the token that we want uh, Lambda to you communicate with us. So I'm gonna do uh, this curl command here. You saw that CDK already finished. Now we are uh, telling the um, Telegram API. It tells me the webhook was set, so everything fine. 
let's go to the console uh, and let's put this environment variable in place so i'm going to go here to environment variables i'm going to click edit i'm going to click add environment variable and the key is going to be this value and the value is going to be this value i'm going to click save it's updating the function uh, i'm going to delete this line because uh, this is going to come directly from from the handler i'm gonna uh, deploy again so let me build again the shadow jar i don't need probably i need clean um i'm gonna go cdk deploy and now uh, I should be able to open um, the bot uh, and start chatting with it. Uh, it will not do any many things because right now we only have two handlers, one that will respond to the uh, about command and another one that will be invoked by default. Uh, but I think this is a good idea of how to get started. We'll write a, a handler in a second and you will see that. Uh, so while the CDK uh, deployment does it magic, let me open Telegram. We are going to search here for a Micronaut uh, chatbots demo. Um, we're going to click the start. This is going to send the start command, which we are not handling. Uh, this is recommended by Telegram that you create like a handler for the start command. We don't have this in our application, so the default handler will invoke instead. Uh, and there you have it. Uh, I don't know how to handle your query, which is not a coincidence that basically this uh, matches this code that we have here. Um, no surprises. Um, we are able to do the about command. This is going to return the markdown that we um, that we have in this uh, file in, in source main resources. Uh, so our handler, our Telegram bot is working fine. Uh, as you saw, it took no time to uh, deploy it. We are gonna create a new one. Uh, and uh, just to make this video faster, I already wrote one uh, and I'm gonna explain you in a second. It's called Hello Handler. Um, and it's, I'm gonna show you in a moment. Um, so it's a Java class annotated with a singleton um, with jakarta.inject.singleton. Uh, so this is a singleton. It implements the Telegram handler. Uh, it essentially uh, does constructor injection for a space parser. Uh, a Telegram space is similar to a room in other chat systems. Um, we are going to uh, handle any message uh, which contains the word hello. Uh, if the message doesn't contain the word hello, this handler will not handle the uh, message. If it does, uh, what we are going to respond is hello there. To respond, we are going to use this um, utility class and message utils, uh, which will uh, essentially um, combine with the space parser and with the input to uh, allow it to answer easily. Um, you will see that the, met the method signature returns an optional send message. Uh, typically, when you create a chatbot, you have two options. Either you respond immediately, uh, and in this case, as such as the one that we are doing, we, you will return a non-empty non optional. Another option is that you essentially uh, respond to the message asynchronously. So in some scenarios, it would make sense to respond asynchronously. In some scenarios where you can uh, answer fast, you can, you can do it as I am doing it here. Um, so. Once you have the handler in place, uh, we can go here and do essentially generate a fat jar again and deploy it. So I'm going to go to infra and do CDK deploy. And this will um, deploy uh, another version of our telegram uh, chatbot uh, with a new handler uh, so we're gonna go and try to type hello and hopefully the new handler will be invoked instead um, and if we type uh, something that this handler cannot uh, handle then the default one um, the will will invoke instead uh, so i'm gonna basically write hola which is hello in spanish and that will uh, kick the default handler and then we're gonna write hello and hopefully that will kick the new one. 
so uh, we believe that the uh, chatbots is uh, a great entry point for teams who wants to use the framework and hopefully you can give it a try uh, yourself and if you have um, interest in uh, having other platforms such as google chat or slack or discord uh, be targeted by micro chatbots uh, please uh, let us know in the in the github discussions in the module or in our discord community so i'm gonna go here i'm gonna say uh, hola and that will kick our default handler which is gonna answer i don't know how to handle the query and if i say uh, hello that will say hello there uh, so as you see a pretty simple programming model um, Hopefully you like it. Uh, hopefully you can create interesting chatbots for your uh, companies uh, or your use case. Uh, Telegram uh, bots are quite powerful. Um, and hopefully this is a, a new exciting module, a part of uh, MyCode 430. Um, we encourage everyone to try the new release. Uh, there are many more features apart from MyCode chatbots. Uh, check out the, the blog post uh, to learn more. Uh, and as always, uh, don't hesitate to leave us any feedback and uh, yeah, best success with the framework. Thank you.